二零一七年第二条题目咧就系讲食菠萝嘅，咁有个人咧就将啲菠萝咧摆喺一个糖水去腌制过，跟住就食啦。咁佢就发现啦，呢啲腌制咗嘅菠萝咧，比起新鲜菠萝咧就为之软身一啲、淋身一啲嘅。咁题目就要我哋解释下呢个现象点解？喎。咁呢个题目啦，其实就係考紧我哋渗透嘅概念啦。咁入题目之前啦，都要讲讲呢条题目嘅思考逻辑嘅。今次我哋发现咗腌制嘅菠萝，相比新鲜菠萝较为淋身一啲。咁有乜解救呢？其中一个原因啦，可能就係因为菠萝細胞佢哋流失水分，容易就令到菠萝細胞面对一个侧壁分离同埋软缩嘅状态啦。而即系题目系问紧我哋点解将个菠萝細胞浸喺糖水嘅时候，佢会面对失水嘅情况呢？所以啦，呢条题目都系考紧我哋对于渗透嘅理解啦，同埋对于啦一个糖水嘅水势，同埋喺个菠萝細胞嘅細胞质嘅水势。究竟边个高啲，边个低啲呢？呢条题目最重要嘅概念就系考下我哋啦。一个溶液嘅浓度越高，佢嘅水势就越低啦。有咗基本概念先，然后咧呢条题目点样答呢？整个思考英架，我哋用啲咩嘅引导性嘅题目去帮自己去答呢条题目呢？第一啦，你要讲下唔同水势嘅分别啦，就要讲下糖水同埋菠萝細胞嘅細胞質。究竟边个嘅水势系高一啲呢？咁由于而家个細胞系软咗嘛，咁应该塞紧水嘅，咁所以我哋唔难理解嘅就系个糖水应该系喺个細胞入面去抽水出嚟，所以我哋会发现啦，糖水嘅水势比起个新鲜嘅菠萝細胞嘅，例如細胞质啦，所谓嘅 cell contents 啦，就为之低嘅水势啦。第二步啦，我哋就谂下，咁究竟啦？当我哋知道咗个水势有不同之后啦，边个高边个低呢？咁究竟有冇一个正向嘅水嘅流动，亦即系渗透作用啦？我哋亦都要讲埋正向水嘅流动嘅方向、哦。咁究竟啦，系正向地进入个菠萝細胞，定系离开个菠萝細胞呢？今次腌制咗嘅菠萝变得淋身一啲呢？就系、是、因为有一个正向嘅水嘅流动，就离开菠萝細胞去到糖水啦，就透过渗透作用啦。而去到第三步，我哋就要讲下成个结果如何啦，或者今次讲嘅现象啦，或者有任何嘅观察啦。咁究竟对于个菠萝細胞嘅质地个质感有啲咩嘅转变呢？硬咗定软咗呢？题目讲软咗㗎嘛，所以软咗嗰一分呢係冇㗎。你要讲点解成个菠萝会软咗，系要用个細胞嘅角度去理解，就系、是、因为菠萝細胞变得软缩咗，就唔能够互相去挤压对方，就令到整个菠萝咧个质地就会软咗一啲啦。咁呢条题目呢，就系用翻一二三三步去理解嘅。咁其实系咪一定要走去背晒佢哦 ？step 一二三咁样去对住答，先叫做最好嘅答案啊？梗系唔系啦！只要你能够清晰咁表达到个因果关系呢，其实你呢个答案呢都系正確嘅。咁啊，示范一次俾大家睇，调返转嚟答，但系仍然系正確咯。咁一开始啦。要我哋解释个现象啊嘛，咁我讲咗现象先啦。个现象都系照抄嘅啫，就系、是、腌制个菠萝呢，比起新鲜菠萝啦，就为之软身一啲。呢一句冇分㗎吓，呢句抄嘅啫嘛。咁但係呢一个现象有咩意思啊？啊呢、这个现象呢，就意味住菠萝細胞系变得软缩一啲，就唔能够呢去互相挤压对方，就令到整嚿菠萝呢较为软身啦。但系点解个菠萝細胞会变得软缩啊？咁咪因为呢个糖嘅溶液，相比起个新鲜菠萝嘅細胞质呢，佢有一个低啲嘅水势，所以啦就会有一个正向嘅水分子嘅流动，由边去边啦，就係、是、由个菠萝細胞去到个糖水啦。过程一二三，呢个系一个渗透嘅作用，而经过啲咩地方啊，又要穿透一个差异渗透嘅薄膜啦。你会发现啦，我寫俾你嘅答案呢。比起 DSC 嘅 model answer 更加精细一啲嘅，因为你永远唔知道边一年嘅 marking scheme 咧系要提及差异渗透嘅薄膜，而家系可以唔同噶，所以啦，我哋根据翻渗透嘅基本定义、基本原理，写低有咩坏咧？系咪？好，又嚟到一点出发啦，今次咧就由腌制菠萝咧做起点嘅，考我哋两样嘢，一系渗透，第二就系科学探究啦。渗透啦，唔难理解啦，讲下浓度啦，讲下水势啦，尤其是呢三个字眼啦。
高深，即係高浓度；等深，即係等浓度；低深，亦即係低浓度。呢三个字係攞嚟形容一个溶液嘅浓度嘅。呢条题目最关键嘅就係你要知道浓度同埋水势嘅关系啊嘛。所以如果我话俾你听，有一款溶液佢係高深嘅，即係高浓度啦，亦即係代表住咁高浓度嘅话。佢嘅水勢就會好低，而當一款溶液佢係好低深、低濃度嘅話呢佢個水勢就會好高。嗱，呢個概念大家係要識嘅。跟住啦，滲透再推多一步呢，就係睇啲細胞嘅改變咯。題目可以考下你動物嘅細胞，又可以考下你植物嘅細胞。當中呢啲字呢，大家就要學識啦，萎縮啊。就接啊、爆裂啊、膨脹啊、質壁分離啊，同埋軟縮啊，呢啲字你要識得分啦。邊啲字用喺動物細胞，邊啲字用喺植物細胞啦。跟住啦，就去到科學探究咧，呢一 part 就千變萬化啦。嗱，通常嘅題目咧，都會要我哋去判斷某一款溶液，或者判斷某一個細胞佢個細胞質嘅水勢嘅。但系啦，佢要用嘅方法咧，系可以好唔同嘅。例如啦，量度个薯条嘅长度啊、重量啊，或者啦，去量度下一个微管啦、啊，或者个薯仔窿咧，记唔记得啊？我哋将个薯仔刮咗个窿，去睇入面嘅溶液啊、入面嘅水啊，佢哋个水位嘅变化。嗱，唔一定叫 water level 嘅，可以叫 solution 嘅 level 咧都得嘅。咁過往啦，都有唔少 M.C. 咧，都係講滲透作用或者滲透作用嘅實驗嘅。都仲未計咧，例如我哋循環系統講組織液嘅時候咧。原來都牽涉到水勢啊，牽涉到滲透嘅喎，嗰啲概念係咪都要學翻呢？咁過往兩常都拍咗好多有關於滲透作用嘅實驗片嘅，咁啊要温書嘅話咧，快快睇翻咯。Two one seven question two is about eating a pineapple. They need to eat a piece of pineapple preserved in a sugar solution and note that it was softer than fresh pineapple. Explain this phenomenon. So for this question, I hope that you can quickly realize it's about osmosis. And before we talk about this question in details, we need to understand the thinking logic. And for the phenomenon, it's found that the preserved pineapple is softer than the fresh pineapple. And the possible reason it may be because the pineapple cells lose water and become plasmolized and fractured. That's the Changes in the plant cells. Therefore, the question is actually asking why do the pineapple cells lose water when they are immersed in the sugar solution? This question we need to recall the concept of osmosis, and we need to compare the water potential of sugar solution and that of the sideroism of pineapples. And for the critical concept of this question is about the higher the concentration of the solution, the lower the water potential is. And then let's take a look at the scaffolding. How can we use the guiding question to lead us to construct our answer in a logical way? Express it in a logical way. Step one: We need to state the water potential difference. We need to determine the water potential of the sugar solution of a particular concentration. Is it higher or lower than that of the cytoplasm of the pineapple cells? According to the thinking logic, we propose that the pineapple cells they will lose water and become plasmolized and fractured. So it means that the sugar solution. It should have a lower water potential than the cell content of the fresh pineapple. Step two, we need to state the net water movement, if any. We need to determine the direction of the net movement of water molecules, aka osmosis. What is the direction of the net movement of water molecules entering or leaving the pineapple cells from the pineapple cell to the sugar solution, or from the sugar solution to the pineapple cells? So, as a result, we know that. The water moves out of the pineapple cells to the sugar solution by osmosis. And finally, we need to state the result or phenomenon or an observation. What's the meaning behind the change of the texture of the pineapple cells? It's mentioned that the pineapple cells it becomes softer than the fresh pineapple. Since the result is already given, so we need to really explain it in the cellular level. So the pineapple cells they will become plasmolized and fractured, and they fail to press against one another. Therefore, we have such phenomenon. You may ask that, Mr. Le, do we have to follow the step one, two, three to construct our answer? Can we present our answer from the step three, two, one? Surely you can. But make sure that you really present your idea in a correct, 
cause and effect reasoning process. For example, I talk about the phenomenon first, uh, and remember that this statement it doesn't carry any mark because it's given by the question. The texture of the pineapple preserved in the sugar solution is softer than that of the fresh pineapple. It shows that the pineapple cells become fractured and fail to press against one another when the pineapple is preserved in the sugar solution. But why they become fractured? So we need to mention the water potential is because the sugar solution has a lower water potential than the cytoplasm of fresh pineapple. So there will be a net movement of water molecules from the pineapple cells to the sugar solution by osmosis through the differentially permeable membrane. And you can see that my answer is more detailed as the so-called model answer of the DSC. For example, I need to mention that by osmosis through the differentially permeable membrane of the pineapple cells. Why I have to do so? Because you never know that which year of the DSC answer the differentially permeable membrane is included in the answer. So pretty safe, you have to mention it based on the definition of osmosis. So let's take a look at the curriculum mapping. This question it starts from the preserved pineapple. And there are two concepts we are checking, osmosis and the scientific investigation. For osmosis, we have to recall the relationship between the concentration and water potential. And these three terms you have to be familiar with. Hypertonic, it means high concentration. Isotonic, it means same concentration. And hypotonic means lower concentration. And by using these terms, we know that hypertonic solution, it means they have a lower water potential. And for the hypotonic solution, it means they have a higher water potential. That's something you have to know it first. And after that, we need to study the changes in the cells. For the animal cells and plant cells, we use different terms to describe them. For the animal cells, we use the shrink and wing coat and burst to describe them. And for the plant cell, we use tortured, plasmolized, fractured to describe them. And for the scientific investigation, there will be many types of them. There is the common aim of the scientific investigation is to determine the water potential of a particular solution. However, we use different ways to determine the water potential. We can measure the length and weight of the potato cylinders. We can measure the water level in the capillary tube or the potato well. In the past, there are different MC questions about the osmosis concept and the osmosis experiment. There are also osmosis concepts being checked in the circulatory system when we talk about the tissue fluid, right? And in the past, Mr. Le has recorded different videos about the osmosis experiment, not only for the plant cells, but also for the animal cells. Do revision together.